You are playing Linda Lovelace, a uh, famous uh, porn actress in a movie uh, that has not come out yet, the film. And th I'm just curious, how do you portray a porn star without the film being I incredibly explicit? Do you know what I mean? Well, you don't actually have sex <laughs> on film. You don't, you don't actually... You should write that down. Yeah, this is not the way... <laughs> yeah. um, you this is not the way I would have gone, but I'm not directing. <laughs> <laughs> no, some say do, tomato, some say tomato. Well, it would be, it would, it would, it would, you know, ca be categorized as porn then. Yes, yes. So what we do is we simulate these things, and um, and we don't show, um, we don't show certain areas, uh, genitalia. Right. And uh, I used that. Well, I, for instance, um, Linda Lovelace is famous for for deep throat, so I had to do um, some some oral sex, and and we would use a popsicle, which is. Great because um, it would uh, it would make my make my lips wet and <laughs> and uh, and inflamed <laughs> and then <laughs> I, honestly I can't believe I went that far just now I'm sorry my soul um, left my body I'm, so sorry. <laughs> I'm a little there's a Conan up on the moon right now who doesn't even know. So, so you're it's using this, but I don't understand even how that works in the scene. I mean, people uh, can see, I mean, who's the other actor in this scene where you're using it's a popsicle? It's Peter Sarsgaard, and he is such a gentleman. Um, it, was, it was sticky, <laughs> and it was just, it was awkward. But the thing is, they're all, it's always awkward. It's a, it's, a, it's a very serious movie, in fact, but, yeah. but, it, but we had so much fun doing it because uh, none of it's real. Right. And we're, uh, we just uh, had to make fun of the situation. Also, I that mean, just sounds comical at a certain point. It, it sounds like so it gets comical. so ridiculous, and there's people around you with cameras, and you've got a popsicle. Yeah, and, and, I'm, and I'm doing this stuff, and it's, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> So all in a day's, and then it's, and then it's like, what did you do at work today? You know, it's I, my my ADR lines, which is the additional recording that you do. That's what you add uh, in later on. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a sound studio, was uh, slurping noises. <laughs> I, seriously, and uh, oh gosh, I'm I'm promoting Les Mis right now. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about Les Mis. Yes, a film for the whole Sorry. family. <laughs> Les Mis. We have more pencils. Um, <laughs> Les Mis, the costumes in this show are fantastic. I think we have a photograph here of you in costume. And I understand that they're, they're, they're so heavy and so thick and you were shooting in the heat that you fainted. Is that I right? did, I, yeah. God, what, an, what another extreme, um, that costume. It, right, you go from to, yeah. Linda Lovelace right. and uh, then suddenly you're, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. Lots of wool, yeah. lots of wool. Hot set in the summer, yeah. fainted. It was one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. And then I woke up and Russell Crowe was holding my legs and Hugh Jackman was massaging my shoulders. I'm telling you, I could do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that same dream. <laughs> it's incredible. No, it's really, it was magical, actually. Except for the fact that when you faint, sometimes you think you're going to pee because you lose all control. You know what it's like, right? I don't no? think I fainted, but I don't, uh, well, but, well, uh, it, you know, it, but you're, that's what you're worried about? Is I, that when I've... I woke, when I came to, I was like, this is so wonderful, but did I pee myself? And I didn't. What a wonderful thing to say coming out of a dreams. Well, That's not what Dorothy said when she woke up in the cabin. You don't know that. <laughs> She's like, I didn't pee myself, did I? <laughs> we, have a, we have a clip here from Les Mis. Anything we need to know for this clip, or should we just let her roll? Just let her rip. Let her rip. Dear Mademoiselle, won't you say, will you tell? My name is Marius Pontmercy. And mine's Cassette. Cassette. I don't know what to say. And make no sound. I am lost. I am That's exactly what it was like when Andy and I met for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> there was a butterfly. There was a butterfly.